Well, let's jump right into uh, hurricane season because that is certainly our our big story as uh, we've been hitting on. So our average, if you don't know, each year it is 14 name storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. Now, NOAA, Colorado State, two of the big organizations, of course, to put out their forecasts, and they kind of line up with each other. Usually, they're fairly in sync in terms of their forecasts each year. And honestly, it's not that far off from our forecast last year. Now, NOAA is predicting 13 to 19 name storms, expecting six to 10 of those to become major, or I'm sorry, six to 10 of those to become hurricanes and three to five of those to become major hurricanes. Now, CSUs, 17 name storms, nine hurricanes, four of those becoming major storms. Now, remember, what major hurricane means is it's a category three or greater, so a really impactful storm, an impactful hurricane. NOAA is expecting 60% of those storms, or I'm sorry, a 60% chance of above normal activity. I need some more coffee, guys. It's, it's one of those mornings. If, if you were with us yesterday, myself and Laura were in, were in throughout the night just keeping keeping tabs on the radar watching for any sort of strong and severe thunderstorms thankfully didn't really have too many it was still a really nasty start to our day yesterday but i'm still on my uh <laughs> my first cup of coffee i think like it's been one of those mornings where i can't get my words out <laughs> all right hello to mona hello nini hello missy thanks for joining us all right so some things to consider why this season will likely become an above average year, an above average hurricane season. One of the big reasons is more ocean heat content, that fuel for storms. And we're expecting warmer than average ocean temperatures, golf temperatures once again this year. And that just fuels any sort of development when a system does start to develop. Now, in terms of our climate pattern, you hear us talk about La Nina and El Nino a lot, but this year, we're kind of splitting it down the middle. We're in what we call ENSO neutral conditions or an ENSO neutral phase. And ENSO is the El Nino Southern Oscillation. So when you hear us mention La Nina or El Nino, that just means we're looking at either above average temperatures in the Pacific or cooler than normal conditions in the Pacific. And that impacts things across the globe, across the nation and it, it, in, the, in the local weather as well. Now, when you're in a neutral phase, you oftentimes get reduced wind shear, which is, remember, the turning of the wind with height. With tornadoes, the greater the wind shear, the better chance you have of, of tornadoes and, and stronger tornadoes or long track tornadoes. But with hurricanes, it's the opposite. So when you have less wind shear, these storms can really start to develop and become quite strong. And that's something we'll be watching extremely closely the deeper we get into hurricane season. Now, we have the potential for a more active West Af African monsoon as well. And when we see these waves come off the coast of Africa, thanks to that monsoon, a lot of times, if the conditions are right, you don't have that dust, you can see these storms turn into tropical systems, depressions, tropical storms, and hurricanes from there. So these are some factors of why the year looks to pan out the way it does. Be sure if you don't have the Fox Local app, if you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, be sure you download that because you can get all the latest in the palm of your hand on your smart TV and it's just a really good tool to have because you can get not just weather alerts and weather updates but also breaking news as well. <laughs> 